Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the another video for building the React applications using the Spring Boot. So, so far what we have is we have the, the data which is coming from the uh, MySQL from the Spring Boot. So here we already have a JSON file when we do a slash customer as we know and we are all we are all getting the data from the uh, Spring Boot in our React applications. So just want to show you guys it's perfectly working here but just want to show you guys I will also use something called props here. So how the props really works is you can send the data from parent to the child. That's how it really works. You can not only a data you can also send the event so for now we have this row all the row is, is looping on on this small here in a grid so what I'm going to send you what I'm going to do now is inside this customer we have the customer but in a customer we create and I create another folder a file call maybe this I should call this uh, customer row not sure what, I think customer row is I think customer is fine so I'm going to create a function uh, by the shortcut and I know that I created already here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this hold this function and I'm going to put it inside this so basically now it's going to loop this guy all right but we, it doesn't know what is the state customer is so we have to tell what is the state customer so uh, in the customer uh, in this customer app on this row we're going to delete this guy so once we delete, we will not see anything here. So here we will call the uh, the customer row. So okay, once we call the customer row, now it will give me the error because this guy doesn't know what state customer is. So to to know that what state customer, we can send uh, the data from our this parent class to this child. So how I send it, the data is using the here the attribute. So we'll tell here this what state customer is. So we'll tell them the state customer is coming from the state customer. So once we did that state customer is state customer still give me the one error so we, it doesn't know what state customer is still so we'll get in using the props so we'll just tell them this is a props here props and once we get this props we'll then tell them this props dot state customer so once we do that it will work perfectly fine so maybe not because when I loop this it will loop the row Oh, it will loop the div here. That's the issue. Oh, there is another issue. Sure, I, I could do here span, I believe. The span will solve this issue. Because the div will give me the new... Uh, when I do is span, it should work. Oh, it, it thought that... Uh, let me fix this issue now. Uh, let me fix this guy. Oh, it spent. Okay, it spent. Thought that it's a one row here. That's bad. Uh, so if I remove this guy, I don't think this will work because it require the div here. Yeah, it require the div here because this will not even work because the customer row will require a div here but if I delete like this this might work this should work yeah now it's working see so basically uh, in props we can send the data and in this data we can loop uh, the data as well Furthermore, we could also send the event here just to prove that we can send the event What I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna send here. This is just to test. I'm gonna remove this layer on so I'm gonna send here like this and console.log here and I'm gonna do test or whatever right to send this so I'm gonna send this test inside this customer row and if I check in customer row it doesn't have anything here so but here we will trigger that all right we will trigger it uh, how we're gonna trigger it is uh, once 
we, we also need to edit this data. So this is a perfect example, I believe. So here, I'll, I'll put the edit here. So it will give me the one new tab. And uh, on here, now, instead of this guy, I can add here the button. So I will add the button here. Okay, we have the button here. So now when this button is clicked, then we can also trigger this event. Th that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I think we will add a checkbox. It's much better. We will add a checkbox in the first time and when you check something and you edit, it's better. Uh, but we can also add a check uh, this button here for now. Uh, but later maybe we will change that to checkbox, okay? Uh, so once we have this guy, now we will add here the event. So in GXX, we could literally write a, uh, call the event here on a click and on this guy, we can get the event and using the arrow functions, we could able to call here props dot and the name of that guy is send message, sorry, send test. So send test. So okay. So once we click this guy button, so it will pr should print the test something. Uh, ASDF. Yeah, it print the ASDF because we don't have an event on this row, but we have an event on the parent. But we can using we can use through the props. So this is a perfect example of using the props. So on the next video, I'm gonna create the add button and I'm gonna add the data and we're gonna go from there. Thank you very much for watching.